There's a lot of buzz about a possible recession, with Forbes suggesting it could hit in 2023 or 2024. While recessions can be scary for your portfolio, some stocks can weather the storm. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at four stocks that can maintain their value and even grow during a recession. So without further ado, let's get into it. Walmart Inc. Walmart is the first on our list because there's almost zero speculation among experienced investors and analysts about its ability to beat a recession. The multinational retail corporation has witnessed two major recessions since its establishment in 1962, which it handled impressively well. During the 2008 recession, Walmart still found a way to outperform the S&P 500 by a staggering 56.3%, all while a whopping 1.8 million businesses went under. Some of the key factors that helped the company back then can still help out in today's market. For instance, the convenience of one-stop shopping. Walmart's wide range of products, from groceries to electronics to clothing, allows consumers to consolidate their shopping trips, saving both time and gasoline. But the biggest advantage for Walmart is widely regarded as its move to diversify globally. Walmart's international presence helped the company prevent the recession from having a significant impact on its bottom line. Because while the U.S. was hit hard, other countries where Walmart had stores did not suffer as much or recovered quickly. Walmart's core business strategy aligned well with customer needs during the recession, which allowed it to weather the economic downturn better than many other retailers. That same business strategy also helped Walmart during the 2020 recession. Do the aggressive Federal Reserve interest rate hikes, persistent inflation, and recent banking crisis have you worried? If so, you can get in on the action today by picking up WMT stock at roughly $150 per share. The Superstore chain has a large market capitalization of $403 billion, making it a much less volatile stock. This makes it potentially suited for those with faint hearts. Netflix, ticker NFLX. Moving on from the retail industry, we have another stock that can potentially reward you in trying times. We're talking about Netflix. The streaming giant was established in 1997 as a DVD by mail service, but the company changed its model to a subscription-based streaming platform in 2007. That transition into the subscription-based streaming model saw Netflix not only survive the terrible financial storm, but thrive in it. Another key factor that helped Netflix through the 2008 recession was the company's focus on how people spent their entertainment budget. You see, many people were forced to reduce their expenses during the recession, which included entertainment. Cinemas became a luxury. Netflix offered a more affordable entertainment option. Customers could view as many movies as they wanted for a set monthly charge, making it a worthwhile investment and a means of relaxation during times of economic uncertainty. With those advantages over other companies, Netflix beat the recession back in 2008 by 50.8%. And if you wanted to know how incredible the Netflix stock is, you need to know about its performance during the pandemic. In order to improve their user experience, the company invested in a content suggestion algorithm that helped audiences reduce the time spending looking for films and TV shows. The algorithm worked flawlessly. If the first show you watched on Netflix is a gritty thriller for mature audiences, the streaming platform will automatically help you find more shows in that genre. This attention to detail and focus on customer satisfaction helped increase customer loyalty and retention during a pandemic that saw the global community get their entertainment entirely from streaming platforms. That year also saw the Netflix stock beat the S&P 500 by 50.9%. If you decide to go with another proven stock like Netflix, it will set you back roughly $400. While that is definitely a high-end stock, you can have peace of mind knowing it can perform under difficult market conditions. With that said, let's take a look at the third stock on our list. This stock is one of the biggest in the scientific research service industry. Thermo Fisher Scientific Inc. Picker TMO. Thermo Fisher Scientific Inc is a company that was established in 2006 due to a merger between Thermo Electron and Fisher Scientific. The company operates through four business segments, which are analytical instruments, life sciences solutions, specialty diagnostics, and laboratory products and services. It offers many products and services needed in modern medicine. Some of them include clinical diagnostic kits, lab equipment, consumables, and software. Although Thermo Fisher has a strong presence in the United States, it has also established itself as the most reliable provider of medical products and services abroad. 
The company helps customers in pharmaceutical and biotech companies, hospitals and clinical diagnostic labs, universities, research institutions and government agencies, as well as environmental and process control industries. This international recognition has allowed the company to scale into a massive organization that can boast of billions of dollars in annual revenue. Throughout the past five years, Thermo Fisher has proven it can flourish regardless of economic conditions. Despite the pandemic happening just three years ago, the company has recorded a yearly earnings growth rate of 26% over the past five years, while also sustaining an average annual return of over 20% in the last 10 years. But its impressive numbers don't end there. As the world leader in servicing science, Thermo Fisher can boast of a $6.9 billion in free cash flow. This money the company can use to pay debt or use to distribute dividends to your pocket. If the numbers and appealing dividend possibilities sound good to you, you can buy TMO right now for roughly $520. T-Mobile, ticker TMUS. The last stock we'll be discussing in this video is a telecommunication giant that towers above its competition in almost every metric possible. The company is T-Mobile. This telecom company is the second largest wireless network provider in the US following its merger with former competitor Sprint. It has more than 100 million customers and is slowly increasing its customer base in the rural areas of America like Maine, West Virginia, and Vermont with the help of the merger mentioned earlier. T-Mobile also has made more moves to stay at the very top of the game. One of the important moves was the research, development, and swift adaptation of 5G technology that helped the company solidify its status as the largest 5G network in the United States. T-Mobile also dominates the wireless network industry in Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. In all these countries, T-Mobile is the clear winner when it comes to reliability, speed, and coverage. But for you as an investor, there's much more to love about TMUS stock. This includes its flourishing cash flow. T-Mobile's merger with Sprint saw the standing company experience a large decline in capital expenses. So both analysts and T-Mobile's management have forecasted free cash flow between $13.1 billion and $13.6 billion in 2023. This is a massive upgrade from the $7.7 .7 billion in free cash flow the company generated in 2022. Getting a piece of this growth investment will cost you roughly $130 per share. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends. As always, don't miss our next video. Thanks for sticking around, and we'll see you next time with more thrilling stock talk from StockDork, your top source for the most exciting stock market trends and investment opportunities across the internet. See you next time.